Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Spartan Crew Gaming. Today we are talking about Elder Scrolls 6 and what we want to see in the game. Let's jump into it. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim over the week, and it's been making me, of course, think about uh, the future of the games of the Elder Scrolls series, and it's been making me want to just speculate and think about what I want in Elder Scrolls 6. So hence, this is why this video is happening. Let's talk about what we want to see in Elder Scrolls 6. Here we go. So first off, I'm just going to mention this real quick. Better graphics, that's going to happen. There's already a new animation engine in the works by Todd Howard in an interview, which is really cool that they're already working on the technology right now. And just better graphics, better animations, want to see that in the new game. Don't doubt that's going to happen. Let's move on to something more important, which is NPCs and followers and what improvements I want to see. Here we go. So the first thing I want to see is more diverse followers in Elder Scrolls 6. Basically, in Fallout 4, your followers were a lot more diverse, there's a lot more side quests, which was really cool. And also another thing to take from was Serana from the Dawnguard DLC. She was an amazing follower, an amazing follower with an amazing story. Of course, it was tied to the main story of that DLC, but I'd love to see more followers with unique storylines and their own side quests and their own histories and families that, uh, you know, you can get to visit and help and maybe save if there's, you know, people that need saving or whatever. Just more side quests for your followers and more character to them. Because Lydia, the house Carl, you get, um, you know, she barely has any story, if any. She's just there. She's uh, an NPC that follows you around and fights for you. And that is just the base of what she does. So I love interesting followers, and I think it would be really cool to see some just really interesting and cool followers in Elder Scrolls 6. The next thing, of course, is NPCs. Elder Scrolls NPCs are not the smartest. Um, after they kill you, they'll say hello. It's kind of hilarious, but it shows that it's very rudimentary uh, artificial intelligence. At least, um, I, I, I think it is, because I'm not a programmer, but it would seem that if, you know, after... I feel like you could code that out pretty easy, maybe. Or maybe not, maybe it's an engine thing. But nonetheless, the NPCs definitely need work. And even Todd Howard has said this, that they need to work on their NPCs and non-player characters. You know, they, they feel like they do a really good at world building, but they need to work on the characters a little more. And I completely agree. So what they could do is they could add a system called the Remembrance System. This is something I kind of came up with. And it's similar to the Nemesis System, is where people in the world, just anyone, citizens, soldiers, or even maybe big characters in the story, remember what you did. So let's say you burnt a house down in Elder Scrolls, and that family was mad at you. Maybe they even attacked you, and maybe you killed, uh, you know, a family member or something. Maybe it was just, you know, you were having a bad day, or you doing something crazy, because it's an open world game, you're like, oh, hey, I'm gonna burn this house down. But they remember that, and they're, like, mad at you. And so when you come back to see them, maybe they attack you, or maybe they parade you, saying, oh, you're no hero, you know, you burnt our house down, basically. Something, you know, maybe a little more complex than that, but basically, they remember who you are, what you did, and it can be for bad or good. So maybe someone remembers the good deeds you've done. Maybe you've impacted the lives of a lot of people. And maybe it's a small thing, like not even a big quest or anything. But let's say you save uh, a group of people from bandits. Just in a procedurally generated open world uh, bandit attack happens. And you save some people from it. And they're like, oh, thank you so much. You know, we're greatly indebted to you. Why don't you come uh, back to our village for some dinner or something? And I think that just adds so much more of a level. And just having these little events that happen would be really cool just to have kind of a remembrance system where people remember the good or the bad things that you've done and how it affects you as a character and how it affects your standing in the open world and i think it would add so much more to the npcs and it would kind of be like the nemesis system from the middle earth shadow of war games but um, not as uh you know dominant in the story of course and uh you know hopefully not as gimmicky or something but something really cool where there's just a little more remembrance of who you are and the deeds you've done so that people can be like okay wow he's done good things or bad things and maybe that you can rectify them you can fix the bad deeds you've done or you can you know destroy your good reputation you know even if you were you know a bad person in Skyrim you're still the dragonborn and uh, you know you could always pay off your debts and people would kind of forget what you did so I'd love to see a remembrance system for the NPCs and I think it would add so much more character to the world Next point, let's jump into having a more alive world. Here we go. So Skyrim already does a really great job at having an amazing world to follow and explore, and uh, it's just an amazing place. I, I love Skyrim. I literally will walk around in that game for hours because I love the mountains, I love the world they've built, and even the towns and cities, they are alive and they feel good. But I'd love to see more life, more uh, you know, scripting going on for NPCs, more life happening, more things going on in these cities, more crowded cities, bigger cities and uh, more conflict. You know, one thing that was kind of sad is there was a civil war going on in Skyrim, but you would never really know it because there was barely any skirmishes ever happening. So one thing that kind of fixed this was the Immersive Patrols mod or the War Zones mod. 
and basically patrols or war zones would be places where you could uh, you know, see these armies battling each other out, and it was actually like a civil war was happening, and it added a lot to the game, but this was a mod, it wasn't a, uh, a thing that was in the game, you know, I think Elder Scrolls, if there's any conflict going on in Elder Scrolls 6, which undoubtedly there will be, you know, these games are RPGs, they have action, I think the world needs to feel the ramifications of what's happening, and there needs to be conflict, there needs to be these zones where, you know, fights are going on, there's constantly a push and pull of, you know, who's trying to take the land, and maybe even things that you do affect that, you know? And uh, I think there should be definitely some bigger choices, and the world should just feel more alive, more things going on, and uh, just bigger cities, more, uh, more dialogue, more th interactions with NPCs, you know, taverns are... Well, they already have awesome taverns in the game, but I'd just love to see bigger cities, more stuff to do in them, and uh, just an immersiveness that is just really brought to uh, the world. I mean, the game is already so great at that, so I just say improve on what they already have and make it, you know, a few a few times better, because I think there's definitely room for improvement on making the world feel more alive, and I think that goes hand in hand with making better NPCs as well. So the next thing I want to see in Elder Scrolls Six is a disguise system. I think it would add so much to thieving and assassinations and it would just make the game so much better. One thing that always kind of got me in Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is the fact if you put on a Stormcloak's outfit and you walk into, you know, Winterhold or whatever, you know, there's... they still know who you are. They still know you're Dragonborn. But I feel like if, let's say, you did that and you went in there and you murdered a tax collector or something in Winterhold, uh, you know, or maybe in, you know, the new TS6, whatever place it is, let's say you have a disguise on, you go in, you assassinate someone for the Dark Brotherhood, boom, uh, you know, it's, it's done. But the guards find you, and they're like, okay, there is a guard right there. They're like, wait, that guard just murdered someone. They're chasing you. Unless you get far enough away, you get to change your outfit, but you're close enough to where uh, they last saw that person that they question you. would be like, hey, did you see someone go by this way? Or maybe you get into a little mini game, or a, a conversation will, and they question you. Maybe if you have enough speech skill, you can get out of, uh, you know, the conversation, and you'll be fine. Or if you get far enough away, you never have to be in the conversation, and you come back to the city completely differently dressed, and they don't even know who committed the crime, especially if you had a face mask on, or a hood, or something that was just scaring your face. I think this needs to happen. It add almost like a Hitman-esque level of stealth to the game, and I think it would be so good, because you can loot and take the armor of so many different characters, and I think it would be just really awesome to have disguises uh, in the game. You know, balance it out, make sure it's not too OP, but uh, for sure, I think disguises need to be in Elder Scrolls 6. And uh, we're going to jump to the last point here. It's kind of a small one, and that is better combat and just slight improvements to it. Let's go. So, of course, I want to see some more strategic combat in Elder Scrolls 6. Um, you know, Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim is a good game. The combat is fun, but it's more like, you know, hit, 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 or magic, or just shoot a lot of arrows. And why that is fun and enjoyable, I would love to see a little more strategic combat when it comes to boss fights, maybe in introducing some more roles or area of effect attacks. Nothing too mmo -y or anything. But definitely something interesting where it makes the fights more interesting. Uh, I said interesting too much there, didn't I? And, uh, you know, make, making it more fun. Something like Horizon Zero Dawn even. Maybe not as complex, but something, you know, kind of like that. Especially when it comes to boss fights. Now, when you're fighting people in the world, you know, make it as, you know, just fun as you can. Because I, I find the combat fun in Skyrim. Just slightly improve on it. Nothing huge. And uh, basically, those are some of the things I want to see in Elder Scrolls 6, guys. I'm extremely excited for the future whenever that game comes out. I know it's going to be a long time, probably 2024, 2025, uh, but hopefully sooner and later. There's a lot of things revving up at Bethesda Studios, and of course, I'm saying Bethesda right now. It's not Bethesda, I know, um, but there's a lot of stuff going up. They're already working on a new animation engine, which means they're probably already working on a new engine. Uh, you know, they're probably going to be revealing a brand new game at E3, hopefully Starfield. Uh, of course, there is a rumored Game of Thrones game uh, that's been kind of going around, but um, I don't think that's going to be revealed. I think that Starfield is definitely what is going to happen, and I think if they do have a Game of Thrones game, it's going to be running on their new engine and animation engine, which would be perfect because they'd be working with a medieval game on their new engine, which would give them the practice for Elder Scrolls 6. But nonetheless, um, they, I think they are in pre-production right now for Elder Scrolls 6, in my mind. At least I believe they are. That it can be completely untrue, but uh, I think according to what they've been doing and things have been said, I wouldn't be surprised if they are. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment below what you want to see in the game and what changes you would like to see and what things you would like uh, to be in Elder Scrolls 6. I'm extremely excited for the future, even though it is far off for Elder Scrolls 6. But nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. I could not do this without you, and I could not do it without God. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. It helps a ton, apparently. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, love you guys so much. 
See you in the next episode. This is your friend, your host, and your commentator, Spartan Crew Gaming, signing off. See you next time.